Are you guys ready? So for everyone at home 
Um, Miss Violet never stops, does she? No. So she. So it's going to sound um, like we're saying the opposite thing because she, when she sleeps, she, you know, no one can wake her. She sleeps very soundly because she can't hear. Yeah. yeah. Um, but she only sleeps like rest periods, isn't it? You know, where she knows we're not doing anything or going anywhere. Um, and we'll often find her asleep like in the garage. But other than that, she just does laps, doesn't she? Yeah, if you have a look at the rest of them, they're all excited and they're waiting for a ball. So they go, oh, I'll get the next one. She's not getting any of them, but she's just constantly on the move. Never, she, never you stops. You know what she reminds me of? She reminds me of a uh, Kelpie or a uh, Yeah. Or she's constantly herding the pack. A working dog. Yeah. Uh, little Miss Violet. Hey, 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 hey,
They're prancing. Yeah. <laughs> now I can tame you, Lily. <laughs> Surely she's got some seriously clean teeth. <laughs> From all that yeah. Stick chewing. Good boy. Good boy. You ready to do some athletics, mate? Here we go. Start with balance things. Chance. Chance. Oh. That is the high level. Ooh. Oh, buddy. There we go. There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, chance. That one's. Yeah. Oh, gee, okay. Maybe we just go back. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, 
He's trying so hard. Buddy, come over here. Look, just come back this way. Oh, what a good boy. Come on, mate. There you go. Look. He's trying so hard. Good boy. That's it. That's it. Good boy. Good boy, fancy boy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, mate. He gets a million points for trying. Doesn't he? Yeah, always. <laughs> hey, mate. Oi. Well, this one's a little bit unsteady. Keep going on the next yeah. one. Yeah, gee. Might have to fix that. There we go. Hello mate, you're back home again. Good boy. Good boy, mate. Watch out, Till. We're going back that way. Good job. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, goodness me. Till, why are you stopping for, mate? Oh, Till, Till. The truck, yeah. Candy stripes would be cool. <laughs> we can always just go back to red. Luke, are you watching? Yeah, I'm watching. Okay. That's all fine. What he did to Banjo before was just concerning. Oh, what was that? Well, it was totally different body language. That was okay. Banjo, he was real stiff, bristled up. Did like you... Chance was stiff and bristled up. Ch Banjo was just lying down. Did you call him off or were you waiting I to see? I to see what would happen. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't. But I just noticed the body language. Change. He, he just walked away. But... That's good. <laughs> Big boy. Oh, hello, little girl. Hey, Jack, darling. Oh, look how chunky you are. Oh, you're a mini chance. <laughs> look at the bow didn't last long. Oh, I saw it this morning. It was half chewed. Now it's completely chewed. Oh, and it can't be you that's doing it. I wonder if it's your sister. I wonder. I wonder if it's your sister. Oh, who is it? Who's stealing your bow? Huh? So, um, I'm just going to ask, I usually do, but I'm motivated to try and remember people's queries, oh, you yeah. know, when they ask questions, uh -huh. um, and when they arise, I'll just ask you. Yeah. So, Miss Red, um, you know, we talked to the um, vet Hello, about like her behaviour change post steroids per, post uh, yeah personality differences and yeah. you know um, some people have 
said, oh, you know, I don't really see it. And um, like they obviously really they see well they see you know the sweet Miss Red and oh, yeah. Miss Red she is really sweet you can see that that really is her, um, but she did get some um, roid rage um, yeah. as a result Ooh. of taking so many steroids early on in life. Yeah, um, and I think it's roid it, rage, it sounds. <laughs> So, roid rage is a term that we say when, um, you know, some people taking steroids and the testosterone levels that high that they get aggressive. Yeah, and you know what? A few people um, commented on the video um, who themselves have had autoimmune disorders. And so they've had steroid courses. Or, or they've had to, um, you know, be on steroids for a period of time or for life or yeah. whatever the scenario is. and. Yeah. They said that, yeah, unfortunately, one of the side effects is a short fuse. Yeah. Um, and I guess that that's a really good way of, I thought, describing it was that, like, in a sense, because she is very, very sweet. Yeah, it, is, so it is the original Miss Red that we know, but we have noticed that there are, like, oh. Frolicking through the long sloppy grass there. Moments where she just changes. Yeah. Doesn't she? And so maybe we could just explain what it looks like. So on that like. as well. So she would she would have roid rage, but then she would be increasingly difficult to then calm once she like exploded into a rage. So most dogs are very easy to get them to disengage and calm down, whereas she just couldn't let go for a little bit there, yeah. couldn't she? Um, can't, so can't switch off from that mode. Yeah, can't can't take a step back. So we've had to do a fair bit of training with her to try, and then even now, she disengages and and runs off from the scenario when I tell her to stand down. But it's usually if there's a visitor or a tradie or something like that. And uh, but now she she stops pursuing the tradie, but then still runs off. Uh, you know, and, and you can see the steam coming out of her ears going, rrr, 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 you know, huffing and puffing as she yeah. runs off, like she's not finished with them, you know? Mm. Barney boy. Doing some zoomies. So, it is a bit of a shame because she was super sweet before that, wasn't she? Like all the time. She was to, just, e e to dogs yeah. and humans, like yeah. um, El uh, Evie used to call her baby red. Yeah. Uh, then she... But uh, yeah, I mean, she still is sweet, a sweet pea. Yeah. Um, it's just that she does have that um, little turn uh, in her yeah, it's behavior. Yeah, it's not as bad now. Yeah, because um, she has been off the steroids for a little while now. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I mean, just so I just thought I'd explain blame mate because people would have gone oh gee you know i didn't know that miss red was like that and um no billy billy stay out of that they're playing anyway we love her yeah oh yeah she's she doesn't get excluded from anything and you know, yeah, just a little bit more attention when you do see a alarm yeah just a little bit more attention to make sure that she dis disengages yep on a side note though Anytime someone sits down and their feet don't touch the ground, do they do this? Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's like a little kid every time it happens. I'm like, oh, yeah, sweet lad. <laughs> Talking about serious stuff here. <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting warming up. Summer's around the corner. Halfway through spring now. Hello, mate. Good boy, buddy. Hello, mate. Good boy. Good boy, bud. I don't know if we're going to be able to get back on top of this grass again. It's like three inches thick of water. <sighs> yeah, so just for those that might not live in Australia, uh, you know, many parts of Australia are seeing... Um, a lot of water at the moment. Mm -hmm. Some, some, so much worse than us. Like, it's just for us. It seems to be quite constant. Yeah. 
Yeah. But we have noticed that each day whilst we're receiving rainfall, we are also getting a break in the day like, like this, right now, yeah. um, which is we're enjoying. Yeah. So we can't complain. So just to reiterate, because um, there's always one or two commenters on every post, yeah. you know, about chance. So I'll just, I will just keep reminding, you know, in case they missed the last video or the one before that, but you know, Ch Chancey is at a really good point. You know, he's, he's off lead, you know, no muzzle, no halter. He's, he is, um, you know, having supervised play, but um, it's not, he's not at the level of unsupervised. No. He always still has to have input, guidance, you know, interruptions. Yeah. He's so not. The guidance is becoming less and less. Yeah. So, for example, before when I spoke about banjo, yep. initially I would have had to interrupt and call his name straight away as soon as yeah I saw the, the, the intent yeah yeah but now he's able you're to allowing, allowing him to have to that and i'm giving him less and less input yeah but he's definitely not at a point where you can have unsupervised socialization whereas the rest of them can the rest of the dogs can all be unsupervised running around and playing um but there's just that one little bit where he still needs a little bit of guidance but you know He's what? For most people, most people won't be able to do this with their dogs. You know, have them in a big social environment like this and not have any issues. You know, this is still very advanced. Yeah. When I first had people inquire about the business for daycare and whatnot or holidays, they would always ask, everyone would always ask, is like, oh, do you ever get any fights? I'm like, no, no fights. And they couldn't fathom it. That many dogs all together off lead, why are they not fighting? And you know, we, we have a much bigger um, set of rules than most people, and you know, we don't allow any dogs to do anything wrong. So for him to be off lead here and us be accepting of, um, like, sorry, and his behavior be acceptable, uh, it's a big. Tick of the hat to him, like tick of, tick yeah. of the box. Like, he's really done well to get to this point. And, you know, yeah, although he... we still nitpick and, and pick tiny little things, he is, you know, should be commended how far he's come. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, just remembering he was a highly aggressive dog towards oh, all dog. dogs. Yeah. He had no, ex then, and no then exceptions. He, and then he would turn on the handler. And he had human aggression. Yep. And it's the really big things. Like, that's why, you know, he was in a situation he was. But now, look at him, you know. But it does mean that, yeah, um, he still needs supervision and guidance. But it doesn't mean that he doesn't deserve his own home, you oh, know. No. He yeah. can go into a home that doesn't have dogs. He can also go into a home um, that has, you know, a certain type of dog he, he could 100 percent go into a home with another dog and i'm confident with the right introduction and so long as the other dog is trained yeah um, it, you can make it work you could you could get them to get on with each other <laughs> there will be none of that thanks did she tell you off yeah you're not allowed to do that either <laughs> um so you know the the future is looking good for chance no, I, I don't. I, I did used to see a lot of restrictions and a lot of, um, you know, gee, who could take him, but he's doing really well. If people want to keep up with the with the training and continue on where we, Rosie got still can't stand him. Well, he had to go at Rosie yeah. back in the days when he had a muzzle on. Yeah. He, he had he, to go at a lot of dogs when he had he a muzzle full, on. He full on attacked Rosie, and she hasn't forgotten yeah, that. And, and Ben. 
look how big and strong he is. He knocked her over and yeah, you know. But that was that was in the early days. Uh, yeah. But yeah, she's never forgiven him for it. No. Yeah. Because they are only little shepherds, and that was like, yeah. They, they would have only been they would have been six months, months old. old at the time, you know. So. Anyway, I know that our avid followers um, are very understanding. They've, they've, you know, they are real. They've seen Chance progress. Chopper probably uh, behaves a little worse than Chance. <sighs> However, Chopper doesn't have the intent. And yeah, the, the history. The, the, risk, the risk of yeah. um, injury is significantly less. Mm. His targets are his brother, which is play, yeah. We are, of all the people in the entire world, the ones that would most want for chance to be a part of the pack. Can yeah. I just say that? Like, honestly, there, there is no one else in this world that wants it more than us. You know, as soon as he's ready, it's going to happen. But, you know... There has always been that thought that he may not ever be at that point for us. And that's been a really big stress for us, you know. But that just means, like that to me, it makes it more important to, for him to find a home where he doesn't need to have those unrealistic expectations. For yeah. Because the only reason why those... Uh, the expectations is because we live with so many jobs. That's right. Nobody lives in this situation. No. They don't. So... They and so he, the expectations are so unrealistic that are placed on upon him. Yeah. However, the longer he lives here, the more important they are because you know, if he doesn't get adopted, he he lives here. Yeah. That's the reality. You know, and so we want him to be a part of our family more than anything. But, um, you know, he can't before he's ready. Yeah. He's part of the team. Just in the B team at the moment. Oh, goodness. <laughs> he's still, still part of the team. Maybe, yeah, he's just um, sometimes so, on, the, on the bench. Yeah, he's just getting drinks. That's okay. We're, we're training him for... You know what it's like, if you want to put it into an analogy, in the military, when you do your basic training, you've got to fold your clothes identically to the millimetre, you know, and they come around with a set stick. A ruler. No, not a ruler, it's a stick that's perfectly to that measurement. And if anything's outside or short or long, they rip the whole thing apart, all your uniform, throw it out, you got to iron for like three days to get it back together. Anyway, that's the military standard, which is what we're asking for them here. But then at home, if you just fold your clothes and put them away, that's acceptable. Yeah. That's sort of how neat and tidy, you know, as long as they're... Yep. That's what most people ask for their dogs. He can do that with space. But um, yeah, we're just asking for a little bit more. Yeah, so he, he'd do really well in a uh, home environment. With or without enough dog. But the dog at this point would need to be a certain dog. Like you said, it does need to be a balanced dog. Yeah. Um, we can't have... Um, High anxiety or no. untrained or all over the place or yeah. cheeky or already aggressive or yeah. dominant. You don't want any of those issues. You just want a dog that's going to come in and it'll all be peaceful and yeah. no, no problems. Yeah. Hey, mate. Ooh. Look at you. Good, yeah, good boy, mate. Good boy. And now, sorry for all of those who completely understand have heard this a million times before. Yeah. I, d I don't mean to... We have also heard it a million times before. Uh, well, I don't, I, I don't want to harp it. Yeah. But I do feel like sometimes just saying it again, maybe just so um, maybe yeah, everyone's understanding. And yeah. Sure yeah. On. And so we need to be understanding of that also. Yeah. Hey, mate, you sit down and dangle your feet like me. He's such a cuddly teddy bear. Yeah. He really wants to snuggle. He does. 
he wants more than anything to be a part of all of this yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. And you know, when he does <coughs> overstep the mark, he's always very remorseful. Yeah. Like he doesn't want to do anything wrong. He's just going through the natural processes of, you know, figuring out what's right, what's wrong. He's got a very good understanding of it now. Um, he's got very good self-control. <coughs> All he does is want my approval and my affection, and when he does the right thing, he, he gets it. And, then and maybe also um, a good point might be just to say um, that, like, I mean, it. I guess it is pretty obvious, but pointing it out that you're not always just kind of, you're not always doing this. You, you, we have a busy day. Yeah. There caring, are, there, caring there are things, for the dogs. There are things that he can't be involved. But um, you know, for instance, uh, you know, whenever anything that preoccupies your focus, yeah. which is so many things in our day, you know, cleaning, feeding, preparing food, yeah. even just you um, hanging out with the kids for half an hour, um, you know. Morning runs. Morning runs. I mean, you are um, increasing I, I, his social circle yeah, there, I do but smaller groups for him. But I but just, anything where you're not a hundred percent able to give him guidance and yeah. watch his, um, you know, body language, it just means that he can't be um, in that situation at this stage. So that's why he isn't in all the videos, um, and that's a hundred percent just purely for safety, like. <laughs> You know, and for his success, like... But safety and also, like, safety for the other dogs, but then also I don't want him to do something that yeah. maybe didn't cause an injury, but he's learnt, oh, because I didn't do anything about it, that means that that's right. is okay. Yeah, Luke so didn't see it. That's right. So and you might start to slip with some certain things, you know? Yeah. Which, at this stage of the training, you don't want to go backwards like that. Yeah. You want to go forwards. Hey, mate. It, um... Hey, mate. Like there, I remember um, the exact moment that I had all those feelings with Shadow, and I remember it. It was we attempted to do a movie night and include Shadow when she was at this point. Yeah. And we tried so hard to make it work, yeah. but um, we couldn't relax for a minute, um, and we couldn't look after the children, and so unfortunately. Halfway through, she did have to be um, put, you know, separated. Um, and it was really hard because we wanted more than anything for her to be a part of that at that point, but she wasn't ready. So I remember that vividly, that, that moment. Um, they've all gone through it. Yeah. Nevaeh's been there. Yeah. Fredo's been there. Roscoe's been there. Yeah. yeah. Even... Um, Banjo went through a, a spout of uh, visitors arriving whilst I'm not there. Yeah. And so, you know, whenever... Uh, well, that's the same even if um, visitors arrived and you're not there, like with Fredo, and he still... Yeah, I know, but, you know, we, we just have to manage any of them that step out of line. Uh, yeah. The only thing is he's still on the improve and only time will tell hey mate so, he's going in the right direction and he and um he does have a good life i mean he he gets um a run every day exercise he gets training he has these social times um, and then he lives a, in a Taj Mahal <sighs> compared to a kennel. Yeah. Um, Even the dogs that sleep in our rooms in the house have a smaller room than him. Yeah, and they share it with many. Yeah, like the yeah. three shepherds all sleep together mm. in a room, and um, <clears throat> chances is way bigger. It's like a penthouse apartment, <laughs> isn't it, mate? Yeah. I think people just think because he doesn't have a companion, you know, at that time. Well, he did, but then Nevaeh graduated. Yeah, and we can't hold Nevaeh back. No, that's for, not fair on her. That's not how it works. Hmm. Anyway.
anyway. Yeah. We'll get there. Well, whilst we, we'd love for it to be tomorrow, you know, um, we also feel like we're in a much better place now, don't we? Like we were feeling real heavy about it um, when, you know, daycare was, and you were doing the driving. It was very difficult for us to, to live with the facts that, um, you know, we felt he wasn't getting as much as he should. But anyway. I'm trying to play with Fredo. Hugo. Hugo prefers holiday routine to daycare Loves routine. It, Isn't he? that odd? Yeah, yeah I think that. Um... Hugo is, um, just for everyone at home, Hugo is actually very um, anxious and nervous in the daycare setting. And, yeah. and it was the reason why um, he didn't get um, the invitation for therapy day. Yeah. But. Um, He's been on a couple of holidays mm. since, and he loves holidays. He's very relaxed. So maybe the bigger numbers just weren't his thing. Well, I don't I think, know. I think it's a bit too confronting for him. You know, the intensity of the day, he just takes a backward step. All those other Vizzlers, <laughs> you know. They're all his brothers. And I know, he's little mates. Yeah. But it just was a bit too much for him. Yeah. Um, he was the only one, the only Vizsler in that group. Yeah. But um, we found that in the in the holiday routine, uh, he loves it. He's Love always it. involved in everything, yeah. and um, he's very relaxed. It and does, it does usually take him the first day to settle in. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then he just, you know, goes and does whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is the sweet Miss Red that we know, where she just, you know, kisses them, don't we? And I imagine that that's the sweet Miss Red that everyone at home knows too. It's her real self. And then he's got this little tiny yappy bark when he's not winning the race. And, and oh running. yeah, like Miss Violet and, and <laughs> Shadow. It's the staffy, um, yeah, high-pitched, yeah. excited bark. Because oh, Yo-Yo's got it too. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out who, who it was. Who it was. Mm. You know, initially you just glance past those two. No. What a good boy, buddy. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah, focus here. Sit. Nope. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, mate. Get over, mate. Hold on. Hold on. Don't fall off. Don't fall. There we go. Here, come down here on the tire. Come down on the tire. We'll come down here to the step. Come all the way down to the ramp. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Good boy. These two. Yeah, do you want a treat and see if you can see if I know the deal? Chance. Let's see if I can get the photo. Hang on.
Good boy, mate. Good boy. Need one for Shadow. Oh, yep. Get one for Shadow. It's coming, Shadow. Good, Good girl. girl darling. Good boy, mate. That was very cute. Good job. No, don't go that don't way. Don't jump out, buddy. Don't go that way. Come back this in, down here. Down the ramp. Down the ramp. This way. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's how you come out, mate. He's like, I don't want it. <laughs> Let's stay in my little house. Sit for another treat. Good boy. Good boy, mate. Yeah, I'll get a photo of that. We used to do these ones all the time at yeah. daycare. Good job, guys. Yeah, no treat for me. Oh, well, I was getting a treat. Good boy, buddy. You did very well. Come on, mate. Down here. Down this way. This is how you get down. Oh, there you Good go. Good boy. Okay. Oh, goodness. Please don't jump out the window. There's only so much I can do to tell me where to go. Oh, phew, phew, phew. Oh, oh, ch hey. oh goodness. Yeah. Well, you did really hurt him. Yeah, that was a... Uh... You okay, Sharp? Oh, you beautiful. All right, darling. Is your back okay? Good boy. Good boy. Uh-uh. Total bloody juggernaut. Good oh boy, Chop. He does look a bit... There we go.
you want a treat? Do you ever get some photos? Good boy. Good job, Billy. Good girl. Joey. Uh, uh, uh. Joey. Good. I just look at this place. It's getting out of control. <sighs> just can't wait till it dries out so we can clean it up. Yeah. So it's just so wet that all we can do at the moment is whipper snipping. Yeah. Because uh, we can't get the mower. Uh, yeah. If you get the mower in here, you just create big mud patches and sinks in. And we got it bogged, had to try and tow it out. Yeah, but then you end up like this, where it's like almost waist high. Mm. Like it looking nice and neat and tidy and she's looking rough. Hey! Good boy. Good boy, mate. Is that the same on Banjo? Yeah, our Banjo was rolling around and he stood over him. But he's 100% responsive, isn't he? Yep. Good job, buddy. Good boy. This surely has to be the same person as before, doesn't it? Because it's from Bedorgan, Anglesey, UK. It's Anglesey. 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 Anglesey? A no, angle as in 90 degree angle. Yeah. And sea as in the ocean. 
Did someone correct yeah. her? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I wasn't holding the camera properly. Was it her? Uh, it was a lot of people. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> this is what I mean. Like, here we are just like on this farm out in Jillaby going, hey, do you pronounce it this way? And the whole world's going, you muppets. <laughs> 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 we, we did a video on Friday. I still haven't posted it because it was so long. But it was us talking about how um, disconnected we feel sometimes. Like it, it is just Luke and I in the middle of the bush with this big pack of dogs and just a phone camera. Did we get Did we get the first part right for Dorgan? Uh. I think so. Badorgan, Anglesey. 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 Yeah, Anglesey. UK. From from Helene? Helene. We may Thank have you, we may have said Helen. Well, that one definitely says Helene, but maybe yeah. maybe um, the one before might have yeah. Oh, apologies. Anyway, several we're doing times. our best, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes, just and with our Australian through. accent, it probably sounds yeah. I imagine even worse. At us. They get a good Aww. giggle out of it, but so long as we bring a smile to your face, I'm happy. <laughs> happy to be able to laugh at my expense. Um, okay, so from Helene Bedorgan Anglesey. Yep. Yeah. Now that. Yes. Miss Violet. Have a go with that. That's cool. That's very cool. <laughs> Roscoe, it's okay, mate. But he can't eat. Look at that, it's a real nice one. Oh, wow. It's like fleecy yeah. on one side. That's so cool. It's cool, isn't it? Where is Miss Violet? I don't, I don't think she came in. Oh, she there is. There she is. There she is. Where? On the table. Oh, yeah. Having a sleep. Are you going to put it on? But she might go swimming. Just leave it. She's going to sleep. That's why I put it on. I oh, okay. Well, well, we'll put it on and we'll just have a look at what it looks like. But then we'll take it off because she's going to go for a... I'm sure she'll go for a swim. She's a fish now. Oh, wow. Gee. Doesn't that look it's, smart? It's very good, this it's one. Beautiful. Yeah. Gee, you're a lucky girl. Oh, there's another one here. Gee, we need to find out where these came from. Yeah, they're good ones, aren't they? Get one for everybody. Yeah, they're amazing. They're so nice. You look so pretty. So smart. We just can't let her in the pool, though. Should I just take it off now? Sure. Yeah. Oh, beautiful little girl. You're so beautiful. Yes, and you're so beautiful too. My dear Luke and Sam. It actually says, my dear Sam and Luke. I'll just breathe over that bit. Uh, and all your wonderful family. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Read it in my peripheral and it just came out backwards, that's all. They seem to find pigs and they explode every time we come in here. <laughs> like I didn't even know there were any left. Okay, take three. My dear Sam and Luke and all your wonderful family, I felt compelled to write to you again, especially on this notelet that reminded me so much of the beautiful Staffy sisters, Miss Red and Miss Violet. There are no words to express what joy and happiness you bring to me Hmm. On a daily basis, you are both rare gifts to our world, bringing love, compassion, and guidance to all the dogs in your care. And it is an utter pleasure to witness and be some small part, uh, and be s some small part of, as a member of the farm. Thank you, Helene. Uh, <coughs> I endorse the gift for daring Miss Violet as a thank you to continuing to make me smile and congratulations on her becoming the newest water baby. I know, it's yeah. very exciting, isn't it? 
super excited. What a about treat that. that was for us, and uh, I do hope. It fits her. Yeah, it fit perfectly. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah, it's really, it's a really great good one. one. Thank you once again for all that you do with a smile and utter dedication. You are the best. Lots of love to you all, Helene. Yeah, when she writes Helene, uh, I would have said Helen. But oh, now that I know it's Helene. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so thank much, Helene. You. It does, doesn't it? It does look like they're in the half muzzle. They're puppies, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shit. Cool, thank you. I'm gonna have to try to make it last. Mm. This one is from Fiona in Maryborough. Oh, sorry, no, it's not. In Gympie, Queensland. Thank you, Fiona. Oh, look at this cool little thing. Can you hold it up? Hi, Luke and Sam, dogs and kids. I love watching your videos so much. Sorry to hear about Faith. Thanks for brightening my day. Hope this brightens yours as well, Fiona. Oh, can I just see the, cool. see the front? Yeah, it's got an easel to stand on. I'm just trying to yeah. pull it out to... Oh, cute. Did it say oh. if... Um... Fiona made it? Uh, it didn't say. So cute, isn't it? It is very cool. Oh yeah, it is. Look. Handmade with Love by Fiona. Yeah. That's so cool. Thank you, Fiona. Very cool. This is from Initial IG Goldberg in New York. USA. Cool. You didn't bring me anything, Frodo? Hold on, I'll just get him some. Nice. Dear Luke and Sam, I'm a US citizen currently living in the Netherlands, sending this package from New York City on a visit. While I'm mostly a cat person, I do enjoy your videos, particularly of the shelter dogs that you that you help and prepare to be adopted. Maybe some of the enclosed items can be given to the shelter dogs who don't get to have a home. Maybe they will like to have a toy. Thank you for all you do to help the shelter dogs improve and get better uh, and get ready for adoption. This is very special work. All the best, Ina. Oh, Ina. Yeah. The bones are all uh, squeaky toys. Oh. Mavay, did you hear the, hear the word I squeaky toys? I think so. Toy? Oh, yeah. Oh, is. yeah. Fredo smelt it. <laughs> oh. Get out of there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ina. I'll take these up to a chance. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Up to with Mr. Wetness. One last package that we don't want to destroy just yet. Water and packages are not good. <laughs> it's probably a funny place to pick to. I know. But, um, you know, we just, we've had so much rain that it's... The only dry we, place. We've got a, it's the only shelter we've got. Well, yeah, I'll take these up to Chance. He's going to love them.
special gift for you. That looks really pretty. Hello, chocolate lover. Oh. Why, hello. <laughs> Luke, Sam, L, Evie, and Wolfric enjoy the chocolate. Oh, no, no. Oh, it doesn't say who it's from. Oh, no. What about. Is that anything? It's another. Oh, it's heavy. It's like some dense chocolate. But let's not rush it. I was just looking for a name. Yeah. No, Maya, no, this, is, this one is not for you. This one is chocolate. <laughs> Oh, gee, they look amazing. Don't they? Changing squares. Yum, oh. Hey. Oh, yum. Yum, they look good. They look amazing. Well, apologies, that there's no name. Oh. There's no name on the, on the note. But if you could send these, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, yum, oh. Merry Whitakers. Yeah. Oh, it's actually wrapped up properly. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. We've got movie night set. Oh, goodness me. Yum. Oh. Maybe, um, I wonder if it's, um, you know. Look at these. Oh, Elle gee. loves this one. Gee, there's some good ones there, isn't there? In response to your sweet tooth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they all look amazing, they? all don't look they? amazing, but this one's tickling my fancy. Let's have a look. They're wrapped so nicely, aren't they? Yeah, they they're really the nice. The Whittaker. Yeah. It's like Willy Wonka's chocolate the with a gold, golden, golden ticket. ticket. That's proper sealed. It's pretty good, yeah. Just get one bit there. Mm. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. There's definitely no name there.
So happy with herself, isn't she? Bonnie.
assuming if they decide they like it. Yeah, like Fredo, Roscoe, Nevaeh, Tank Chopper, Luna. Shadow, what about you? <laughs> hey, what about you, Shadow? She's making up for it in the dam. She goes for a swim all the time now. Shadow's playing really well now. Remember how the pool session she used to come up all the time? She's doing well, aren't you, Shadow? She's doing well, darling. Good girl. Good girl. She couldn't handle the intense environment and she'd always take herself off and you know, know she couldn't handle it, so she used to just sit out. Mm.
Barney. Yeah. Good boy, mate. Is it a pad? It would have been a cut at the base of uh, one of her toes, and then it's just because it's been so wet, it's turned into a bit of an ulcer. So I've just uh. been spraying it all day with a wound spray. Uh. How long ago did you put 